I love to draft, and Time Spiral Remastered is quite possibly the best draft experience I have ever had. There are so many two-card combos to discover, and the time-shifted sheet adds new options to explore in every pack. Unfortunately, after the first day or two, you can no longer draft it at your friendly local game store. Watsi decided to bring back one of the coolest blocks in Magic history, each card dripping with flavor and references to the game's past, and made it into an incredible limited environment, and they gave it a weekend. Literally, it released Friday, and Strixhaven spoilers started Monday. This is disappointing, to say the least, because this set is amazing. It's frustrating that Watsi is catering to investors and telling dedicated drafters like me, this game isn't for you. But I don't want to spend this whole video complaining, that's what the MTG subreddit is for. No, today I'm here to tell you how to respond to Watsi's poor choices. There are two major things you can do to still get value from and enjoy Time Spiral Remastered even if you can't get sealed product or draft at your LGS. First and foremost, buy singles. The reason TSR box prices have appreciated so much is because every foil time-shifted card, even the less desirable ones, are jacking up prices. This is because these are new and one-time only versions of these cards. While that's bad, it does warp the prices of all the straight-up reprints in the set downward. Sliver Legion was a $100 card, and now it's half that. This set is chock-full of good reprints, because most of the time-shifted cards are hits, and the non-foils are probably the cheapest they've been in years. Added to that is the fact that nobody can play Paper Magic tournaments right now, so card prices have taken a hit in general. As long as it's not for Commander, it's cheaper. Buy singles now. The second thing you can do to enjoy Time Spiral Remastered is to build a set cube. A cube is when you take a bunch of magic cards, make packs out of them, and draft them. One thing I like to do with my favorite sets is build a cube that recreates the draft environment of that set. Here's how you do it. Step 1. Determine any changes you would like to make. After all, this is your cube. You can just carbon copy the set, but most sets have at least a few limited duds that are included for constructed magic. For TSR, that list includes Angel's Grace, Extirpate, Magus of the Moon, Glittering Wish, Dryad Arbor. This list is subjective. There are definitely arguments for other cards, or against some of these. But once you make your list of replaceable cards, find replacements. For these cards, I want to replace them with other good rares of the same colors from Time Spiral Block. Angel's Grace could be replaced by Evangelize or Magus of the Disc, Extirpate by Stronghold Overseer or Demonic Collusion, Magus of the Moon by Volcano Hellion or Bogarden Hellkite, Glittering Wish by Teneb or Epocrisite, and Dryad Arbor by Wild Pear or Verdant Embrace. Come to think of it, there are a lot of good rares that got missed. Maybe try replacing more cards, or even just adding extra, to see what happens. You can always remove them later if you want. Most sets also have some bad commons and uncommons. Being primarily a draft set, TSR doesn't really have this problem. The only card that I just don't think I'd ever play unless forced is Sarkamite Mirror. I would probably replace it with Clock Spinning or Unblinking Bleb to help enforce Blue's themes. And because, well, Bleb. 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 The time shifted cards are their own video. Seriously, I'll probably do a video on them, because there's so much to talk about. Suffice it to say, you can pretty much do whatever you want here, but leaving it alone is a great option. Step 2. Acquire 4 of each common, 2 of each uncommon, and 1 of each rare and mythic, and for this set, 1 of each time-shifted card. You can change the numbers on these if you want. Some people like 6 common, 3 uncommon, 2 rare, 1 mythic, and that does give you more realistic variants, but it's a significantly higher cost for a real but small gain. Again, most of these cards are pretty cheap right now, and for the ones that aren't, you can just replace them with something else, either permanently or until you get the valuable cards. Step 3. Acquire some basic lands. Usually 40 of each is enough for an 8-player draft. Step 4. Sleeve them up. If you have the budget, I would double sleeve, at least the valuable cards. No point paying good money for a cube that gets ruined the first time a drink gets spilled on it. Step 5. Shuffle up each of your rarities and then build packs of 10 commons, 3 uncommons, 1 rare or mythic, 
and one time shifted card. Again, you can mess with these numbers if you like. It's your format now. Personally, I like just making it as close to the real set as possible, but I want to stress that you can get as creative as you want. Step six, wait until it's safe to draft your new cube with friends. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that it's useful to you. If so, please be sure to like and subscribe for more content and let us know in the comments which replacements you would make for your TSR set cube.